The Kenning Podcast. Welcome back to the Kenning Podcast. We're going to have a bit of a recap again on Swift because it's the only thing happening. I'm joined here by a good friend and co-host. We've, we've, we've moved you up. <laughs> Well, I got a new title. Aye, co-host and stream yeah. manager Mark Johnson's back in the hot seat again. Um, yeah. We're sitting here Thursday. They've just announced. Well, I think they're just about to announce the lockdown's going on again. So we'll get the end soon. Don't worry. We'll have a. a <laughs> I haven't heard any news today. You're in the in the the cave. Too busy in the cave. I've hardly left it. So. Yeah, that's the plans, guys. There's a few things happening here. I had I had the wife in today in the the studio here. She had a look about. Dangerous. And she says, that stinks. You can't have people in there. <laughs> and it's because I get changed in here um, with my lovely cycling gear and throw it over the radiator. So we're going to take us upstairs. There's a few things we need to get um, and do. So that's the plans here anyway. But we're just going to go through last night's Swift race. Mark, give us the some stats numbers that we had oh uh, well i was going to start off with the different format again and apologies for the few technicals that we had um i started the stream early as normal so people can jump on board and get the the link early so they're not panicking and uh, i had to stop it because i had realized we did a test in the morning ross was looking to ride it he's obviously missing riding so yeah. he was looking to ride it so we were trying to get him his race on screen as well as him in the corner on the bike. So I have three screens that I'm working off that are plugged into the computer. And after we've done all that, hit live and realized I actually hadn't left myself a screen to work off. To see so what you're doing. I was, sure, I was sharing all three screens to the stream and I didn't have one to work off. So I had to hook up the TV. Yeah. Panicking at about half six, get it all rearranged, set up, and we got there in the end. And went to do my intro and we had no sound so i had done a full intro announced winners sponsors the whole lot and nobody heard the thing and then fiona had to fill in for me until i could figure out what was going on with my sound meanwhile i was facetiming you while you were trying to facetime me going what's wrong You've been very and then quiet, chris cameron was messages going we don't have any sound on the stream and i was like no something's not right here yeah, so we got the intro at about two minutes into the day, the start of the day. So actually, listen back to the gate again today, and I uh, have to say, very well done, all three of us. Yeah, thanks, thanks very much. Yeah, we're, well, we're doing our best. Well, well, a lot more than other people are doing, you know. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just getting up the stats here uh, on my screen. Well, I don't want to put my computer under too much pressure here, you know. Yeah, With... don't, don't be doing that there. So total views was five hundred and six on youtube so that's not too bad okay pretty good um looking at them all in a row here Have round you... number three is the most 876 for some reason and i think round number three was major technical issues sir yeah maybe people are just watching it back to have a laugh learn from their mistakes and where they went wrong yeah pretty well, much 800 of those views are probably mine is that the as that was the one with the hill and i did get dropped in that yeah that's all mine can't <laughs> people going on pointing the finger at you laughing yeah um brilliant and then yeah so that was that was last night a review a couple of uh comments came in mainly on the on the youtube and facebook a couple of shout outs actually see if i can re you can go back down <laughs> to them again yeah yeah i was giving shout, trying to get comments. shout outs today and i realized that oh, it's not live but good race and I, I did the A race, um, got on, got my, my normal warm up done of half an hour. I actually tried to ride a lap beforehand, just because I didn't actually really know the route. It was New York, outer park perimeter. Per- perimeter, yeah. Yeah. Around Central Park. So something I've never done. Apparently it's um, as close to real life as you can get. Yeah, it says there that they used uh, actual real life GPS to design the course. So... so- yeah, so I wanted to do a bit of a yeah. bit of a recon as such to work out where the danger points were. But I actually went on to is it Swift Power not Swift Power, um Swift Insider. Swift Insider. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually trying to work out which bike to to go for and all that sort of stuff, but just stuck with what I usually ran a nice wee canyon there, you know. Uh you actually th- never think to change bikes when I'm riding Swift. No, never part- think about it. I've been told just to change the ultra lightweight if it's something like one of the big long climbs, so yeah, did that. A uh, bit of a warm up and 
couldn't actually get onto it because it wasn't one of the open worlds. There's five yeah. or six different worlds and they rotate. So I, I was starting to go, Am I actually? are we actually racing on this? But you must be able to pick and choose any of the courses at any time. Not 100% on that because I'm looking to ride next week's course and talking to Ross said I don't think we can do oh, it. Until then? Not, I'm, I'm not sure the full... Ross is obviously totally Clear up end. to date with everything. Yeah, he knows everything and I'm yeah. Swift, so... So, did the normal warm-up and then the A's... Because you, you didn't... Like, watching the feedback or the the playback today, the A's didn't really get much of a shout in because Ross covers no, the A's. No, no A's or B's because last week, the way we were doing it was Ross was following A's and B's and we just shared his screen. So, because he was riding, he obviously couldn't follow that. So... I was following the head of the race because a couple of streams ago we missed the winner because we weren't paying attention or we weren't following the lead group and I was flicking back to the C's and back to B's and then we didn't know who was leading the race. So we just made the decision to always follow the lead group no matter what um, and then just flick between Ross on the C's. So we didn't have anybody to keep us updated on A's and B's and how they were getting on. Yeah, Lindsay Watson but, can only manage to type so much. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he does well. I manages to. T- well, if you watch the video uh, or you watch the stream and you seen how sort of the shape Ross was in trying to keep up, do you think he could have lifted a phone to type a message in? No, very definitely sh- not. Very sweaty. I know fingers. I couldn't do it anyway. Very sweaty. Yeah. But uh, yeah, our race sort of broke the p- pieces. Lap one, and there was a small one minute effort climb. It sort of got whittled down on the first lap. And. I, Sort of kept to the front five or six, and then the second lap, there was, I think, there was ten of us left. After that, yeah. And then the last lap, there was Wait. five or six left. Yeah. Tight. How did he end up fifth place? Was that? That's not too bad. Fifth or sixth across the line. Happy enough. And there's only Tarwitz in it again. Well, watching Ross back, I've decided that I'm not giving it enough in the sprint. <laughs> the man was. We were worried. I was worried about he, he him. He looked like he was about to fall off the bike at the end. Yeah, he was, yeah. He went, he went deep there, but I was just wondering, was he doing that there, playing for the camera? Playing for the camera, and all double taking. But yeah, I've realised I'm not actually giving it enough in the sprints. So, um, but yeah, feeling a wee bit better. I've actually been doing a wee bit more on Airport Road there on a Monday and Tuesday, a couple of twenty minute efforts. I've been telling you a couple of numbers and stuff, so it's reflecting Axel a wee bit. Axel tarmac. Axel tarmac's reflecting on Swift. Don't actually know what one of them training for you know what's what's the focus is it the real world or is it swift what, what is it we're actually training for you know but, but sure uh, they're announcing more lockdowns so i know it could be swift for another few months you never know yeah you have you have a couple of things on order you may just not worry about them too much <laughs> you can't get anything anyway so yeah maybe the, just order a watt bike i know there's a guy in the day he's actually looking at a turbo and i was like give him a few weeks you'll get you'll get one cheap <laughs> So the 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 days instead of the way it was young Daniel Daly. Yeah, we had a we had a sandbagger in the D ride. Right? I'm not mentioning names, but uh, he is an almost A rider in the days, and he rode the front the whole night, Tone. basically giving the rest of the lads a toe. So yeah, um, not very far, but first race. Them guys probably weren't to know, you know. So who, probably his first and last race. Uh, possibly, yeah, but that's the way it goes. Um, the naughty list, I think most of the guys on that naughty list now are guys that have been upgraded and haven't realised and just went back and entered. So if there were C's, they've just been upgraded to B's, haven't realised and just entered the C's again. So they just need to check Swift Power and see where they're at after each race. Brilliant. And then, the, you know, to know what category to go into. So uh, How many did, did it this week? Was there five? Uh, Was I right in saying five hundred? I think it, the last time we checked last night, Ross shouted out 480. Jeez. So I don't know if I can get total numbers here. Let me just check if I can. It's the first time I've been at a front of a 400, 500 <laughs> group, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can get actual total numbers up on Swift Bar. I don't, if I can. But Swift Bar is not up to date at the moment, does it? Um, it's hard to know. It keeps refreshing. I can tell you. Yeah, I could tell you, well, we know Seth Dunwoody got the win in the A's. Lindsay Watson was second. 
Sam Coleman third. It's them three guys every week. Seriously? Just switching positions, yeah. I've been yeah. trying to not sort of get a, a breakaway going, but just sort of trying to not make it a sprint. And yeah. Even though it was a sprint yesterday, at least it was only it was only ten of us sprinting for it, as opposed to the full pel- peloton. And a full group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a bit different. Uh, next week is slightly different. That's going to be Richmond with two two week kickers on it. Yeah, it's called Libby Hill After Party, and it is five laps of the fan flats, and then on the last lap they shoot you up a big stinking hill. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do my I research. Think it's cobbled. Up a cobbled hill, Libby Hill. The turbo shakes in, yeah. It probably will if yeah. they have that kind of turbo, yeah. Uh so yeah. There was a couple of names in that race last night. There was a couple of boys from Hope racing at the front as well. Yeah, Hope Factory Racing, yeah. I'm not sure of their names. I think I recognise yeah. one or two of their names from back in the day. I may be right, maybe wrong, but I actually went onto the website to have a look. They have a full setup of a team there, but uh, no, didn't really Paul Oldman or someone like that there. There's the name rings a bell, but whenever you're chewing the bars and you just see, ah, you said you mentioned you might know him. Yeah, there's yeah. there's an S. Kelly riding about as well. And you're going, is it? <laughs> so, no, internet is unstable apparently. It, well, yes, I already know it, that. It's making funny noises in my ears. Well, your, your internet. But uh, yeah, we'll give a shout out to Daniel Daly Jr. Yeah, uh, we're proud of him. He is the son of the main sponsor, Daily Tayonde, so he got the win, overall win last night. Brilliant. Fair play. But Not the, sure how old he is, but... So what way is the points working? Maybe you know this, that the, the A's are racing amongst themselves, or is it an overall? Uh, I'm trying to get that uh, up in front of me here. And then few... that match you can have sitting in front of you here. I know, but I just like putting you under pressure on the spot. Uh, not... Yeah, I know. Fiona um, was going through a couple of the overall stands uh, this morning. Do you not have her notes? No, I don't have her notes. I, forgot I just have my own. Uh, you also give Darnell a bit of a... Well, you went back through <laughs> Darnell's history. Is he on Wikipedia? What was the Wikipedia? Hey, actually, uh, I can't remember the name, but I put in Darnell Moore Cycling into uh-huh. Google. That's just what I do with them all when I'm trying to figure out you know, who they are. And I think it's called cycling stats or pro cycling yes, stats. Yes, yes, yes. And if you if you if you go on to that, you'll probably find it for yourself as well. Yeah. It just lists everything. Yeah. All their positions, what races they've done, the RAS, where they've finished. Yeah, there's a, a few top tens and all in the RAS. There's a well. there's one there that comes up with the cyclocross results. Um, yeah. And then again, they would. Well, I don't think it was them. Was asking me to verify one or two results, but. They're asking that time we ran the UCI race. They were asking for the results for that, and obviously. A bit like Wikipedia, only for cyclists. Yeah. So you went down to Darnell's history, yeah? Uh, well, I remember Ross mentioning him, but um, he didn't sort of mention who he was and what he had. So I just thought would Go down to the list. And, yeah, because he did have quite a big list going in 2008. So he was just winning everything. Yep. Is that the year he was second? In the... So yeah, deserves a shout out, surely. Oh, or Darnell, yes. Tom Pop. Yeah. Who else was in yeah. the in the group with us then? Kevin Lynch. He was in the mix there as well. Yeah, Kevin Lynch. Always rare thereabouts. Just yeah. loves shooting himself up the road. In real life and on Swift. Just yeah. boom. Attack. And then who else was yeah. in the group with us that first week? Lindsay group? Watson was there. Do you have mentioned Lindsay? Lindsay was motorbiking well. You could probably well. call Lindsay friend of the stream now. Yeah. Well, well I've <laughs> a message commenting. In He's committed to coming in or getting them on the chat, so he's going to be one of our guests over the next few weeks once uh, yeah. we get the Virgin line installed here. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be good when that goes in. Fingers crossed. Next few weeks, we actually they actually put wires in today, believe it or not. They put a oh, thing, happy days. They put a thing in called a Toby. <laughs> no idea. And then I had to make sure that I could actually put the shutters down, which I couldn't, so I had to re- redo it. I was inside the the runnings for the shutters, so we got there in the end. Um, right, okay. So fingers Rewiring crossed. Rewiring your Toby. Yeah, don't know when when it gets goes live. Probably whenever the direct app comes out. So yeah, there's a few things planned there. Um, who else was in the the front group as well? We picked quite a few groups up in the last lap. See, I can't help you with that because I w- was only watching. Well, you have the these. you have the results there in front of you. you. Could go down through it. Well, I'm flicking just through overall Winter Chase Race League results, and Seth Dunwoody is on 470 points in first place. 
Rodney so he, Young. He's leading is, by who's second? Damn. Second's Rodney Young, and he has four hundred and forty-five points. Okay, and that must, can't be right because then it says Gregory Goats. Lindsay must be too, must be, too far. It, it it must be points in the group because it's saying Goats in third, and he's got four hundred and sixty-five points. How many have I got? But Swift Power. Scroll down there, same many I've got. You'd need a book to figure out how to use this here. Uh, you're not even on the first page, oh, yet, sorry. Well, that's, that's the way it's been in the last couple of years, so don't worry about that anyway. Right, the top three A riders is Seth Unwoody on 470, Lindsay Watson second on 435, Sam Coleman third on 363. And Seth Unwoody, what do you have to say? We're talking about I don't know today. what age he is. He's a junior. So 15 or 16? Yeah, and around that age probably. Yeah. 17? Uh, Glenn Kinnings in 7th on 319. Sure. Yeah, so you have, you have a wee bit to make up there. Well, hopefully that's why this internet connection is some job and everyone else's this is, goes downhill, you, you know? You think it's going to give you extra watts? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what it says in the, in the tin, on the label. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the overall league. Brilliant. On Swift Bar. So next week's Richmond. And uh, what's that? will be week number six next week. Six, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's only three more to go, yeah. It's, it's actually flew in, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been going well. I, sort I of, think the first time we did the stream, it, well, the league hadn't started. That was just the first. Yeah, yeah. It was just the normal race before the league had started. So sort that just of, shows you how far we're in of, now. Bit of a test. Tell me, yeah. this, is one of the rounds going to be like a hilltop finish? Do you have the, the full list of what else is coming up? That Libby Hill is the hilltop finish. Um, then you have Greater London 8. Flat, yeah. Is, it, is the next one. And then the last one's called Out and Back again. And it's one lap, but it's 42.2 kilometres. So it um, is the longest out of all the races by a fair bit. By about 10 k's, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out and back. Greater London's only 24 k so let's get the info on Greater London. I'm wondering, is it a hilly one, and that's why it's not like long the, distance? The climb last night was wasn't that steep, wasn't that long, but it was just it was about a minute effort, and I felt all right up it in comparison to some of those other ones that we've been doing. Now, if I had been what racing at um, what was the Austria one? The Austria Innsbruck. If I had been Innsbruck oh, yes. again, I think I would have been out the back again. But uh, well, yeah, this one, this progress. one here next week, that finishing hill, I think, is it around a minute, maybe a wee bit longer. But it's together. probably going to be it's probably going to be a sprint from the bottom to the top. Yeah, and there's two climbs sort of beside each other. Yeah, I have to get on Swift and Cider and do my homework. Get the homework done. I'm just googling Greater London Eight route details here to see. Ooh, whoo, oh, Box Hill. Oh yes, yes, that's the one that goes down through the subway. The famous Box Hill. Yeah. Jeepers. I'm not sure if it'll actually take you the subway. Greater London Eight route covers mostly flat Greater London expansion and Box slash Fox Hills. It is very similar to the Greater London Loop, only adding four kilometres of flat roads and covering Greater London portion. In the opposite direction. So you're moment. going to be doing Box Hill, which is three k's. Yeah. So I think that, that's obviously the shorter distance is the hill. Okay. That's why it's different. So that, to... that's actually going to be a good one to see what way it blows up in that hill because it's three he's, kilometers long. He's looking at a help next week, not a commentator. No, you're racing uh -huh. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you're not getting out of it that easy. You get from the second page to the first page. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's uh, the third of March. That that's going to be a good one. I like the hilly ones. Yeah, breaks it up a wee bit more. Yeah, we might have to get uh, something else. Try and see if we can get another screen share on the go to try and get somebody to follow A's and B's. But I say uh, A's and B's will catch on that claim if they haven't caught before. And so tell us a bit more then about the setup. You said you'd emailed uh, Swift during the week about. Yeah, I emailed Swift on the 5th of february and just explain what we were doing we have a stream going getting a couple of hundred views live commentating three of us and was there any tips to make life easier because 
we were told you could follow on the companion app using the map but it's an absolute disaster nightmare to follow um then they said we could use swift power and use the live button again doesn't refresh quick enough to even be useful so we emailed back saying that they're working on improving streams and to have a look at swift gps okay so i went on to swift gps and it looked to be very good it basically is a bigger version of the map on the companion app and um you put in your swift username pick the race and then it follows you or you and the riders basically but i used it last night and it it was it was just as useful as useful as the companion app yeah i was gonna say a bad word there well we're not that stage yet but it's a family show so yeah it's just we're we're struggling to follow i think the thing with swift is i didn't expect it probably blew up as much as it has over the last what 12 yeah. months now and now yeah, people like, are going to them with all these requirements yeah like i know the likes of cycling ireland that do the live race on the saturday i don't know what way they have that set up but it's obviously swift are running that for them and they can go from like the, the leader to whatever rider they want on a few clicks yeah i think it's just um the two commentators running um they just get sent a link and they click the link and they have the live feed in front of them on the screen and they just commentate on it Give him a shout down, invite so him on to the podcast. And we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll name him. Write his name down. Write his name down. First question. Right, so let's talk about Swift. Swift. Yeah. No, yeah, really, so really good guy. I don't know. We're, we're just back to following it the way we've normally followed. Um, stick with the lead group. I think it would have been fine last night. Just what you just put Ross on. You know. <laughs> blame Ross. Well, he's getting the blame for a lot he, of things. He wants to write it, so what can you do? Just need not everybody it. has a setup here like I have, you know. That I wonder can you hard to, to do that all? I wonder can you do a screen record on the I'm using the Apple TV, so it's something I will have to look at. See I don't we, know if you can do a screen record on Apple TV or not. Sort of link it in, but my internet's better in the house. So if you need if you need a feed, I'll nominate myself. But <laughs> yeah, the the way we're doing the screen records is on the Google. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's Casting like, or something, yeah. Yeah, something like that. It's just like Zoom, only you don't have to pay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, cause that, that's the way. That's the way. That's that's working. That's what we're using here at the moment, and it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We're getting there. Yeah. Uh, but did have another couple of notes. Bar and Swift. Um, we're going to change the podcast to maybe Monday or Tuesday once lockdown is lifted, and we do have real racing at the weekends and sort of sit and talk about that. Hopefully we actually get to some of the races as well. Um, yeah. And they're happening. But with sort of... The Dublin CX World Cup is missing from the calendar. was one of the big talking points of the week that came, that came across. Uh, we were promised a World Cup last October, wasn't it meant to be? November time? Yeah. yeah. COVID wrecked that. Um, yeah. So we were sort of thinking it was just going to get pushed across to the next year, which it doesn't look like it's going to happen. No, it's been dropped from the calendar, and don't know why. It just it doesn't give any. There's no explanation or anything, is there? No, I forgot it just to tell says you this. It was re, it, there was a reshuffle. Yeah, there's three in America. Oh, well, three within one week. Uh, let me just check it. I have the list here. And Lara, oh, that's, that's last year's. Maria, Maria, Maria Larkin invited me over, um, to do the three, but. I've declared myself as a master now, so I can't ride them. Damn. That's that's right, and you can't go back. No, can't go back once you declare yourself. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's three weeks there. Three. Um, the first three are America. Yeah. yeah all within right. a week. Must be a all, Saturday. October tenth, October thirteenth, and October seventeenth. Yeah. So all that's... in America. Then Belgium, Belgium, straight after. But so. they're just saying it was a reshuffle, and and Dublin didn't make the. The cut, the cut, basically. And it was a bit meant about the compass, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we've never I actually had. So. We've never actually had a race there yet, so no, that might be one of the issues. But yeah. well, it, it's saying our December fifth and December twelfth are to be confirmed. So maybe it's it's a possibility, I suppose. But according to a well-known cycling website here, well, we'll be dropped. in Ipswich on the fifth. 
Hopefully, yeah. Isn't if, if COVID, COVID allows us to go. Well, some some things are booked. Some things have already. Wheels are already in motion for a few things. Um, is that the fifth of December, isn't it? Yeah, Lindsay's birthday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you yet. I hope she doesn't listen to this. I'll just be getting the. Have I booked something there for uh, December already? So uh, yeah, there's a few things we've already sort of planned out for the rest of the year. Fingers crossed. Yeah, if that's how it happens. Yeah. So, um, as I say, we're going to change this over to a, hopefully a Tuesday or whatever. But for the next few weeks, we'll we'll recap on the Swift because there's nothing else happening. Nothing else. Yeah. Literally nothing else. We actually have a wee shared folder now. We're trying to put a few things in. There has nothing. Watched a bit of the cross last week and um, enjoyed it. That was it. Swift set up. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe we could get um. A few guys in and talk about their setup and what way the their turbo trainers and I think everyone's sort of Apple everybody's tape. clued in on what they use yeah. now. Um, it has to be a smart trainer if you're trying to arse around on just a normal trainer that's not smart. It's just a disaster. I see there was a couple of boys talking about the uh, what do you call it Wi Fi dropout last night, but definitely I, the uh, Wi Fi. I don't like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is only for phones and tablets and that yeah. sort of thing. If you're serious about connections, you just get it hardwired straight in, yeah. and you never have another problem. Yeah. But again, not everybody is able to do that. Yeah, like, well, I'm using that. My house, my house is fully wired. Every room there's a socket. Yeah, well, I'm out in the garage, and the frustrating thing is that the, the Apple TV is wired into the the uh, Ethernet through the plug sockets. Yeah. So you put a yeah. plug socket in under your stairs. Ethernet cable ended up from the router, out in the yep. garage, and even into the PlayStations, um, is all the Ethernet cables. But then I don't, I don't even get Wi-Fi in my garage on the phone. So like, everyone send me all these thumbs up and ride ons, and Glenn's, yeah, Glenn's Glenn's yeah. being very sociable there with not uh, returning my uh, high fives <laughs> to him. You know, so I'm riding around with a big yeah. pocket full of them. So uh, apologies yeah, well, for that, guys. The, 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 what we could do for you there, Glenn, is. Put a wee splitter into that Ethernet socket and then just plug a wee access point in for your Wi Fi. I have one of them on the stairs already. Sitting there in the box. So I could do that, yeah. I just sort you out. There we go. Technical technical tip of the day. <laughs> two two routers in. But uh I think we'll leave it there unless you have anything else. No, just uh if you're getting Wi Fi dropouts, get that thing plugged in. Get Ethernet in, yeah. Yeah, up. but I'm sure a lot of people are probably using mobile phones and tablets and stuff, so yeah. you can't. If I can see how they do a screen record on... Well, screen recording's no, no good because it's not live, so it's all out the window no, already. No good. So. No, no good. Yes, guys, yeah. um, if you're liking the podcast, there's been a few guys, like you, I had you on uh, FaceTime the other day, and the guy came into the shop and he says, can I love the podcast? That's so right. We're getting there. It's it's slow at the moment, I'm going to be honest with you, with the... Uh, Technology limiting us to a few things here, um, but I do have a list of people that we're going to get in, and I can't really do it. Well, I can't do it for another month now because of this lockdown. Yeah, and we don't have a lot to talk about other than Swift, so yeah, um, things will get more interesting once, once the season start racing on. and we get something to talk about. Yeah, um, there was maybe there was one guy who was asking me about breaking down training a wee bit more, but at the moment it's just go out and ride up and down Airport Road because it's the only place. Aye. Yeah. There's a car stretch in the evening now, so we're able to get a few more mile in <laughs> on the way home. Let's put it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I need I don't need a queer stretch in the evenings, I need a queer stretch in the mornings. Yeah. You're the yeah. AM man, I'm the PM man. So yeah. um, six six AM this morning, yeah. What was that to an hour? Hour and a half. And ah, this is zone two week, so it's just cruising. Jim Adams two hours up this morning he was telling me. Nothing. I even beat me. Jeez. Jeez. You brought it, Jim? Yep, going for it, boys. Are, Must be getting um, ready for something, is he? Bally Hero. <laughs> Bally Hero. I can't to. wait to go back there. Really. Yeah, another couple of things planned. Bally Hero. Say, France. Say no more. Everything has a grey line beside it. But um, yeah, we'll check back in again next week um, after round six. And, yes. Uh, see, ho- hopefully I'm as chirpy because I'm in the front group. If I'm not in the front group, there may be no podcast. Po- podium finish, maybe? Well, if it's a sprint, no. So, <laughs> what the hell? I know. I seen. Um, Are you it... like? I see a polka dot behind you. You like the hills? Um. Yeah, but that was that was that's real world. It's different. Like, <laughs> I, I sort of said to myself, I'll leave us the sprint. You know, instead of one of those efforts last night, it was a couple of k to go, and I was sort of watching the the, the wee 
timer coming down a couple hundred meters ago, and then it's downhill and then up. Just just yeah. went away from me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll check in next week, guys. Thank you, and we'll speak to you then. Right. Talk later. Cheers. Beginning podcast.